Kojo Raps on TV reporting live from Saudi Arabia. I'm here with heavyweight, I would say legend, fought all over the world. He's now known for being a Netflix guru with the Game Changers documentary, yeah, Mr. Brian yeah. Jennings. How are you doing, sir? Everything's all good, man. How are you? How, how is, I mean, obviously you've been in camp with uh, Mr. Joshua. Um, you've been out in Saudi Arabia for the last few weeks. How, how have you found the, the country, the people? Yeah, well, you know, the, the country is, is great. Mm. Uh, it's definitely better than what I expected. Not as not like I expected mm -hmm. anything less. Yep. But you know, uh, it's a lot of it was. It's actually a lot more beautiful than I mm. than I would have assumed. You mm -hmm. know, uh, the architecture and some of the buildings are yeah. are, are amazing. You yeah. know, um, and architecture was one of my one of my dreams at one point in time. So nice. uh, that's something that I you know something that I like. Um, mm. Other than me, also yeah. driving from Riyadh to gonna, uh, to Mecca. I was going to ask you to travel the country. Yeah, how yeah, was that? yeah. So it was good, man. I drove from Riyadh to Mecca, mm -hmm. um, and then I drove from Mecca to Medina, wow. and then uh, we drove from Medina back to Riyadh yeah. all in one day. Wow. All in one day. Wow. Yeah. Well, and, uh, fair play because I mean I've spoken to a lot of people, a lot of my Muslim friends are like saying to me. They're jealous. Their wives are telling them, "You need to go to Saudi Arabia. You need to go to Mecca." So yeah, a lot yeah. of them are just jealous that I'm touching the soil of Saudi Arabia yeah, alone. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, you must I'm, be feeling complete. Yeah, yeah. Alhamdulillah, it was uh, it's, it was great that we could just come here mm -hmm. uh, on on business mm -hmm. and uh, be able to be in Saudi for such a time yep. and to and to make Umrah. Mm -hmm because Umar packages and Hajj packages from America yeah. aren't cheap. I could imagine. So, uh, yeah. so I was, I was, I was blessed to do that. Mm -hmm. And I actually did it twice. Wow. You know, I did it twice and, and, and within the three day spans, you know, after I came back, mm -hmm. you know, I went, I went right back. I took somebody, took somebody with me. Yeah. You and know? how was it? I mean, I don't know if you can speak about it, but how was it when you went to Umar? How did you feel? Yeah, yeah, um, 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 it was definitely, it was just like, wow. So, so coming through, coming through the masjid, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I should have just been looking down the whole time. Okay. And as I was walking through to, mm -hmm. you know, the Kaaba, mm -hmm. I should have been looking down. Mm -hmm. But when I looked up, I saw it. Yeah. And I was like, oh, wow. So then Mesmerized. I could just see it the whole the whole walk through mm -hmm. so what i had wanted was literally just not to see it and just yeah. look up and say oh wow yeah. you know uh but it was it was it was just amazing and just and i just like and i just kept looking at my phone and looking like because I, yeah. I i haven't had a screensaver on yeah. my phone from and i'm like you really like, here. i don't even need this no more i could put a real picture there now like yep. like this is where i would this is where we see pictures and stuff yeah and this is where we pray to five times a day mm -hmm. yeah. inshallah this 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 is what we do this is how we do that and it's yeah. like wow like i'm here now yeah and that was just the beginning of the experience mm -hmm. and experience can go whew, mm -hmm. a whole lot so you know uh yeah that was that was a lot it's a lot it's mm -hmm. a lot to it but uh to sum it all up it was it was a wonderful it was a beautiful experience Good. and obviously like we said we were you've been um in camp with um joshua i won't ask you too much about that but in general how did that come about in terms of you getting the call accepting the call and thinking what you can add to a camp where a fighter is trying to avenge his loss did that go through your mind at all yeah uh, well, no, yeah that was that's, yeah, that's a pretty good question um you know i was i was working with derek yeah uh and i think the call came through through to derek first mm -hmm. uh more so because maybe they were looking to try to see if Derek wanted to mm -hmm. work once his fight was over. Yeah. Um, it didn't necessarily take place then. Mm -hmm. Then I got a call from my side and mm -hmm. asked me, did I want, did I want to do it? And you know, I was already just in London for almost two months already. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh man, I miss my son, but mm -hmm. the grind don't stop. Yep. So, um, so then I was I was just contemplating, I was just yeah. kind of waiting still too mm -hmm. for a word, and uh, I called my people back. I said, "Don't mm -hmm. even worry about it. I, I got, I'm work, I'm working something out on this yeah. side." You know, I was like, "Yeah, me and Derek is working something out on this mm -hmm. side." 
And it's just like, I don't need, because wherever they got information from, they just came with some crazy whatever. Yeah. So I just <laughs> like, <laughs> stop. Yeah. Stop what you're doing. Don't even, mm. I don't need you. Yeah. So, you know, um, and then, you know, uh, as time went on, you know, mm -hmm. the comfortability of saying, yeah, I'm, I'm about to do this. Because mm -hmm. normally, normally I just wouldn't work with mm -hmm. heavyweights, period, mm -hmm. okay. for the simple fact that, you know, there are there are points there are points in mm -hmm. a, in a, a time that, mm -hmm. that 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 I'm I'm that close to whom, whomever I may work with, yeah. and Fair it's enough. just like nothing personal period. But it's just like yeah. ah. But then now, where I feel as though you know I can contribute a lot more mm -hmm. to to other people's success yeah. that could also benefit mine as well. You know, uh, this is like fuck it, like yeah. you know the ice is broken mm -hmm. on this particular person how it, mm -hmm. it would take it would take him for me to do it yes based yeah. on who he is as a person yep. um and that don't that don't discredit anybody else if i reject you or not but you know uh but it just it just it's a different opportunity out. right in that sense and not yeah, an opportunity yeah, well, yeah, like it's, it's going to be life-changing but it's a different well i wasn't worried, i wasn't worried about it being life-changing like yeah. you know like Yo, like you get you no matter how, and I said this earlier. No mm. matter how, no matter what stage of boxing that someone's in, mm. you know, in the heavyweight division, mm. when they see me, they say, "Oh, damn, that's you know, that's Brian," exactly. and it's just like, "Damn, like damn, yeah. damn, bro, I appreciate that," because yeah. it's like, "Damn, like, you know." And sometimes, like, I'm I'm so down to earth and I'm so I'm so humble that mm -hmm. that you know, okay, I can dismiss myself out of out of out of out of particular legendary status, regardless yeah. wherever, because. Mm. Them guys, them guys, when when they were in the beginnings, mm. you know, I was up at the top, yep. and so regardless whether I succeeded at particular points or not, mm -hmm. I've already, I was there. I yes. did this. I uh, did what they, I did what they didn't do yet, mm -hmm. and they they show that, that they show that gratitude and that respect to say, mm -hmm. yo, like I respect you once, mm -hmm. and I still respect you to this day, regardless of whatever happened. Mm -hmm. I remember you as as this, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, it ain't even nothing happened crazy, you know. what I'm just saying, but but yeah, yeah. So so it's been it was way bigger than an opportunity. It's yeah, like it yeah. wasn't it wasn't that. It was yeah. the fact that it's like I re it was a, the respect factor. Yeah. You know, it's like okay, I respect you as a person mm -hmm. to do this, to do that. And then plus the circumstances of okay, I have an opportunity. To display myself mm -hmm. in front of uh, in front of him, in front mm -hmm. of the camp, in front of the whatever, to help him mm -hmm. prepare best to you know to retrieve his his belts back. Yeah, and that was just something to say. Look, bro, these dudes need help. Yeah, you know, it's like or not necessarily need help, but well, they need, they need my help. Yeah. You know, um, they're inquiring about mm -hmm. my services. Yeah, and I'm like, you know what? I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Um, Let's let's do this. Like yeah. this is a mission that 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 I'm willing to yeah. I'm willing to get on. I'm yeah. willing to you know willing to ride ride like this mission word. and you know and uh, and you know take 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 this on and you know mm -hmm. become become part. So once I broke the ice, mm -hmm. you know that's it. You yeah. know now we just be like okay whatever camp whatever mm -hmm. camp you want me or whatever camp if I'm available mm -hmm. you know I work. Yeah. And but that still don't necessarily mm -hmm. count for anybody else. Yeah. Yep. That's just when I break the ice. It's yeah. like Derek can call me anytime. Yeah, no. They say, bro, I need you. I need you. Are you available here? I need you here. Say no more. I'm yeah. there. You know, put whatever down at home, whatever. <laughs> yeah. So once the ice is broken, that's just how I move. Yeah. You know. Um, no, but yeah, it, but yeah, it was. It's 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 a good. It's a. It's a good camp. Yeah. Good comfortable camp. Mm. You know, focus, discipline, uh, eagerness. Mm. You know, hard work. Yeah most important yeah and i see you were uh, while you were in sheffield you were looking finding this vegan spots to do the yeah, same in london yeah, yeah, i just yeah. want to quickly touch on the game changer yeah. documentary i'm sure you've been getting a lot of press a lot of questions about that i mean yeah, definitely. again how um I, I say excited are you just to see the response from it a lot of people on social media were kind of saying look this does change your mindset in terms of how your diet the benefits to it how do you how do you feel when you hear that knowing that you were part of a project that is actually quite impactful in terms of people's lives. Yeah, no, it's definitely it's definitely great. Uh, you know, I've been all over the world, mm -hmm. uh, all over again, just in three months. Yeah. Within this last three months, yeah. you know, I've been to a lot of places. Mm. Uh, That's right, because you went. I want to say Turkey, or did you go to? Yeah, I was, was in Germany? Turkey. I was in Germany. Germany. Yeah. yeah um, so 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 everywhere I went, mm. I was recognized. Yeah. And I'm just like, damn, like, but these people didn't. They don't recognize me from boxing. <laughs> 
yeah. they recognized me from Game Changers. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, that's another level of, of, of success that exactly. has, you know, that that has that has uh, you know confronted me. It's another string to your bow. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, damn, like you, this shit yeah. is really real. Mm. So the one time we was on our way to Turkey, and um, and I was checking in mm -hmm. on the plane. Mm -hmm. You know, at the ticket, mm -hmm. at the ticket place, and I was in, I was in, I was in the ticket thing to the to the right, yeah. or whatever, right, and uh, and my other guys were at the one to the left. Mm. Cool. So the lady was just like, she was asking my guys, she was like, "Is that Brian Jennings?" Mm. You know, this is what they were saying. Yeah. She was saying, she said, "Is that Brian Jennings mm -hmm. from from Game Changers?" Like, oh my god. So you know, after mm -hmm. I checked in or whatever, went over where they was at. She was like, "Oh my god, mm -hmm. bye bye. You the reason I turned vegan, bye bye." Yeah, and I'm see. just like. I'm in I'm in another country, <laughs> and I'm able I'm able to touch someone yep. that's like so far away. Yeah. So I came up with this I came up with this saying that said, "Wow, I can touch people all across the world, but the ones that are right next to me, I can't get to them." You know, and it's just like, yo, only thing these people want to do is mm. they want to live longer. Yeah. They want to be healthier. They want to be cleaner. They want to be clearer. They want to be they want to be in the more, morning and yeah, they want to yeah, right. They just want they just want to feel and be free yeah. like, you know um and it's it's just it's, it's just a wonderful thing man yeah. so game changers shout out to game changers shout out to the whole cast of game changers shout out to everybody that had anything to do with game changers mm -hmm. uh if you haven't seen game changers yeah. it's on netflix right now i'm gonna speak uh, to johnny nelson i flew over with johnny nelson we were talking about it i've seen parts of it i've not finished all of it okay, i did get okay. distracted but um we spoke about it and he was just like yep he's he's i'll say He's amended his diet specifically because he thought I'm going to try it, and I know yeah. people that have done the same. So yeah, it shows yeah, the yeah. impact. Yeah, and the thing is to just just try it. So yeah. I just I just encourage people to be more health conscious. Yeah. So most people say, "Oh, you think I'm gonna be eating grass like you?" Like, bro, yeah. Yeah. shut the fuck up yeah. Yeah. and stop being ignorant and stop being stupid. Yeah. Cause your I, your grandma, your grandpa, your great aunt, they all died from cancer yeah. or diabetes yeah. or got some type of illness where mm. they just don't look good. Yeah. Like you think you think about it like when you look at someone that has whatever, mm. money. Yeah. And they get and they're, and they're of age. Mm. They still well taken care of. Granny get a hair curl mm -hmm. every other day, mm. feet done every other day. Mm nice clothes yeah. whether they rich or whatever but it's just the cleanliness and the clearness and yeah. the way they take care of their body mm -hmm. and at the dinner table it's a lot of fruits mm -hmm. and stuff like that that's not just for people with, that have money that's mm -hmm. for the rich mindset exactly. that's not for the poor mindset yeah. so we got to get out of that dumbass poor mindset mm -hmm. that's got people saying oh we need to put this on the table mm -hmm. and just, just like today, it was like, oh, some of the homies, it's like, yo, they passed around all the food today mm. at the gala. Yeah. So they passed around a lot of food and stuff mm. like that. I couldn't eat none of this stuff. Mm. My homie K did. He came. He came through <laughs> with some. Uh, he came through with some something vegan. Nice. You know, uh, okay, I don't know where he got it from. Yeah. But <laughs> no, he got it from his room though. Yeah. But yeah, because he's he, he's vegan as well mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. Um, but he came through with something vegan. Mm. But it just was like. Out of all of the things that they were bringing, everybody was eating that, eating that, eating that. And mm. at the end, after the dessert, they came with fruit. Mm. And I had like four things of fruit in front of me because nobody else wanted the fruit. fruit. And I said, but you motherfuckers ate everything else. Yeah. But you but you just will leave you you, you leave yeah. the fruit. So, you know, it's just And it's a deeper mindset because and I'm and I won't I don't want to us to discuss it but I always say when I look at my ancestors and you know I speak to my elders meat as a, in, as a general was a luxury so it wasn't something that people consumed every day it was right. only once a week right. and if you look at I'm from Ghana African diets a lot of it is root based whether it's sweet potatoes yams plantain mm. okra right. and the stews that get made a lot of it is veg vegetarian mm -hmm. based and people think well African can't, can't be vegetarians and I'm like well actually study what's being made study what gets put in front of you right. it's always just the addition of meat but yeah. actually without it you've been eating it fine so yeah. red bean stew yeah so, yeah, it, yeah. so it's definitely yeah. i think it's something that is going to take off in the next few years so yeah yeah no looking forward to it so brian just want to catch up on and, and last question the energy around joshua how has it been for you when you came to camp knowing it's been a loss and now we're closer to the fight what's the energy been like oh uh, well journey? you know the energy the energy is not it it is it, like like I'm I'm an athlete myself, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, 
and I'm I'm a I'm a disciplined athlete. Mm -hmm. I'm a I'm a I'm a uh, I'm a determined athlete, mm -hmm. um, and I've 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 always believed in him to be one as well. Yep. Um, and that's proven. Mm -hmm. And what determined athletes do. Mm -hmm or athletes that meet all of the attributes that I just mentioned, yeah. uh, what we do is that whatever's in the past, mm. you put the shit in the past, yeah. and we work on what's forward, what's mm. in front of us. Mm -hmm. And so that's exactly what he's been doing. It's nobody yeah. walking around with bad energy. Oh, well, what if this happened? Yeah. Uh-uh. Okay, we good. speaking that into existence? Uh-uh. Yeah. No, so none of these things are none of these things are taking place. Good. Um, it's, 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 it's a lot of work being done. Mm -hmm. um, it's a lot of you know, Rob, Rob and them has been working, you know, uh, countless, countless hours, time, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I, I joked about something today, Rob said, mm -hmm. you know, just two more and you're done, you know, and it's just yeah. like, and then he'll say that again, yeah, just, just two more and you're done, yeah. well, yeah, one more of these and you're done, yeah. you know, it's just, just it's like, keeping him working. Me, like that, Rob, you said that, like, <laughs> 10 like, times like, ago, yeah, yeah, like 10 times ago, you know, but it wasn't mm -hmm. nothing but like 15 second, you yeah. know, uh, whatever it's, you know, but mm -hmm. yeah, but still, it was just like to keep keep going at it. So mm -hmm. if they see something else, yeah. say, you know what? No, let's no nah, do that. Do that a little more. Let, let mm -hmm. me see that again. Let me see that again. Let me see that again. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of fine tuning. Yep. Um, and we looking. We hope. Hopefully, you know. Um, you know, we we we're looking to see. We looking to see a much better Joshua. Yeah. You know. Um, and everything is not going to necessarily overturn in one fight mm. but it's definitely the start of something yeah. something more phenomenal with him because mm. you know once once you once you get a loss mm. it's like it's like dag like yeah. you felt that already okay mm. boom it's like the roller coaster it's like, oh, <coughs> get a drop the drop is dead yeah. fuck it yeah. nothing you can do to me that's going you know that's going to yes. surprise me now very true very true so listen brian thank you very much for your time i know it's late you've done the gala you've got your guys yeah. waiting for you Appreciate you spending time with us, um, but definitely hope to catch you tomorrow at the weigh-in and we'll yeah. discuss more. All right, appreciate it. Right, take care, appreciate right. that. Raps on TV, Kojo, we're out.